Hey guys, so a mashup between two heavyweights, V12s involved, producing 700 horses. Um, as you see, we have one right here on the screen. It is a 2012 Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. It's producing some heavy horses, 730 horses, 500 pounds of torque. And look at that torque curve, that thing is so flat, it's insane. And we got about 3,600 pounds, it is rear wheel drive, a 6.3 liter motor. So it is a very, very large motor. Um, so what shall we compare it to? Well, I thought about it, and Ferrari versus what? What's the other brand when you think of Ferrari versus what? Yo, whoa. So what you think of, after you think of Ferrari, you think of, um, what is it? Mmm, starts with L. Starts with L. Oh, it's, here it is. It's Lamborghini. Um, so I was thinking about comparing it to the Aventador. The LP 700-4. is 2012, I think. Was it the same year as the Berlinetta? No, the Berlinetta, I think, was 2013. So, whatever. This car, I thought would be a fair, because it is a V12 as well. This one brings 700 flat horsepower. So it brings 700 and it comes with a 6.5 liter motor. So it has, I don't know if you want to say the advantage in, in size. That's probably why it makes a foot pound of torque more. It makes 509 versus 508 in the Ferrari. This one brings 700, the Ferrari brings 730. So that's probably why the ferrari red lines a little bit more because it needs a little bit more power to get out of it by making the red line a little bit more so it's getting some more horses but it could be losing some torque that's why but i think it's also because it's a smaller motor by the way well this is a 6.5 like i said oh <sighs> so this car actually is lighter and it has all-wheel drive that is actually very impressive so this is the weaker car but the lighter car that doesn't mean anything so the performance index they are both stock this one actually is an s2 and the ferrari is an s1 so i was thinking what about taking them since they're both big v12s these are top end monsters right i mean that's what you think of when you think of v12s like they just love sucking air so you would think like top end yeah so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna throw them both on the on the highway and see what they can do so first up the Lamborghini Aventador they're both stock so this should be a fair comparison one is all-wheel drive one is rear-wheel drive that don't mean anything from where they're starting from they're gonna have plenty enough to catch up to the top speed it's not like we're racing them all right so here we go there's the events that we're off all right here we go oh that was close now oh, there goes another picture car we'll get you later my friend right now we gotta find out what this beast can unleash i'm thinking because i think i saw a glance when i scrolled to the performance index of this car i think i saw 300 or no, from the 390 kilometers, I was thinking maybe like 230 miles per hour. Yeah, something like that. Let's see, what is the kilometers at? Okay, not 390, I was exaggerating a little bit. But we should be into the 370s with no problem. Come on, let's go, Aventador. Pulling 233 at 3. 175 kilometers wow this car for being factory with just 700 horses that is just at a crazy amount of speed don't you think wow it's just literally a tiny v12 it's not tiny it's a v12 with 700 horses being able to do 233 that's a lot i love the spoiler how it comes up and then those intakes that come up on the side too look at those things they come up and then they go away once they start picking up speed what is that it's so cool 
So yeah, this car it redlines at almost 9,000. It goes up to like 8,800 RPMs. So 233 miles per hour. No problem. You cut that with no problem. Piece of cake for this car. Now let's bring out the Ferrari. More horses, so I could probably have the advantage in the top end. Who knows? Or maybe not. Let's see what we can conduct here. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Good thing I don't have that effect so when you crash you don't like your car be looking all ugly and stuff yeah you don't you don't want that oh so this car came out in 2012 wow i thought it was much newer i felt like it was a 13 so they both came out around the same year what a coincidence v12s uh, which ones sound better i don't know i like how lamborghini sound as well as ferraris i would say this one has more of a louder sound But definitely, be yeah. between those two, they're saying that Lamborghinis are starting to sound better than the Ferraris. The Ferraris are kind of losing their distinctive touch now that that 488 Ferrari came out. Psh, I don't even know what to do anymore. It started over here because it wasn't this far back. It was like about here. So from here. All the way down. Okay, here we go. Ferrari Berlinetta test. We're doing pretty good. It's pulling pretty hard. Ripping through those gears. I've noticed that if you drive these cars manual, they like they're they're better. They feel better to drive because I guess like they're meant for it. Like when you drive like a Z01 or a Shelby or even a Hennessy Venom, like it just needs to be manual clutch. It's like since those cars were like built like for that, I guess that's probably why they feel like that. Okay, so around here we we're already into the 215s with the Lambo. We're struggling here to get to just the 210. Come on, you gotta show me at least nearing 220. That's my goal. Come on. Oh, we just passed the horizon. Oh man, we just hit a car. Oh, let's go. Max speed. 215. Okay, so. The Lambo, the 233, and this 215. What does this car advertise in case I never attempted to hit it? It advertises. 214. Okay, so. 215 is, yeah, it's not gonna get that much faster or anything, it might do 216. But this car ain't gonna do no 233 like that Lambo did. I don't know why, I mean, it has more horsepower. What's really messing this car up is the aerodynamics really playing with this car. This The motor in this car is the same one that's in that La Ferrari in front of us. Like, are you serious? Well, whatever, let's have a little fun. So that was pretty much it for the comparison. <clears throat> it was just pretty much like a top end test. Um, if you put those on the track, I'm thinking, oh, let's uh, let's take a shortcut here. If you put these both on the track, you obviously know who's gonna win. That Lambo's just gonna have the edge. Like, it just it just is. I mean, I'm not gonna say anything because I actually I built one of these. And man, it was disgusting for turning, but it only had like an 8.2 handling. I know it's not always about those numbers, but you kind of do refer off of that. And the events in there had like an 8.5, and this one only had like an 8.2. So, meaning that it would turn better. You would think also as well, it's a Ferrari. It's built to turn. That's true. That's probably why. Maybe it does turn better in real life than what it is in this game. Maybe it isn't as overpowered as the one in real life. Oh, that's cool. It's like a little speedometer. I don't know if you guys see that. But there's like a little digital gauge there. Yeah, give me that cash. Wow, 80,000. I've never got it that high before. And 6,400 XP. Where's my money at right now? Oh, almost 13 million. I've been saving. I literally just don't know what to buy next. Like, you guys also could comment below. That'll help me out. Comment below. Let me know. What do you guys think I should uh, compare next? 
or also what um what should I buy next pretty much lost all my options should I buy doubles of cars you know stuff like that would be helpful so yeah you guys um just subscribe let me know what you guys think on the video this episode um as well as um comment your gamer tags if you're interested in playing with me one day stuff like that um and subscribe to keep updated on my videos when i post them like them that also let me know what you guys think about them all right so i mean i'll see you guys in the next video